Hey folks, welcome to the video. Just out for a morning walk. It's a beautiful autumn morning and um, I just thought I'd go down to have a look at a Gorthseth circle or Druid circle in my local area. Um, it's got a bit of history to it as well, so um, I've done a bit of research on the history, so it'll just be nice now to go and visit it. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So I'm just turning up now to Dufferin Wood. Um, it's a small wood in Aberpenner, or in English that's Mount Nash. Um, yeah, it's a cool little stream there. So yeah, just arriving at Dufferin Wood now. It's a very small wood. Um, if you're wondering what the word Dufferin means as well, it just means veil in Welsh. Um, so yeah. It's just a few more metres up ahead now and um, we'll get to the Goddess of Stone as well then, so should be fun. Druid Circle, Goddess of Stones are just behind me now, um, so we'll have a little look, you'll probably see them up behind me there. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. Oh wow, here it is, check this out. <laughs> let's get a closer look. Kind of cool, yeah? Apologies for the, um, the traffic, it is close to a B road. Um, so you can probably hear the cars every now and then. But if you can drown that noise out, it's actually very cool, yeah? Oh, <laughs> an acorn nearly, nearly landed on me then. So now that we're here, um, I thought I'd give you a little bit of information and history about this actual Gorsad circle. If you're wondering what the word Gorsad mean, it just means throne. Gorsad is Welsh for the word throne. And um, obviously you can call it a Druid circle or standing stone circle. But in Wales we call them Gorsad circles. Apologies about the traffic. Um, but this site was originally put here by the National Eisteddfod of Wales. And I think that was in around 1905. Um, so it's been here quite a while. And basically then they held um, meetings and events here um, where the bards would come and the druids would come and the bards would come and write their poetry, you know, sing their poetry. There'd be music and festivities. And obviously the bards would um, conduct their rituals, whatever that may be. What the Eisteddfod is in Wales, it's basically like one of our oldest national traditions where um, lots of people get together and they share their poetry, their music, their art, etc. Um, so it's a really big event. It happens all throughout the years. Um, 
in lots of different locations. And if you look at the history of what the Eisteddfod was, it originated around, um, I think it was the 12th century, so around 1170, 1176, somewhere around there. And the very first conduction of this Eisteddfod, it used to be called um, a bardic competition, basically, or bardic get-together, where all the bards in the medieval days would get together and share their music. And the first one was um, held by uh, a man called Rhys Ap uh, Griffith, so that would be Lord Rhys Ap Griffith, and he launched the very first bardic tradition, the first Eisteddfod, in Cardigan. And um, that was at Cardigan Castle. Um, I think they've got a plaque there as well and a stone near the area, so obviously we'll go and visit that someday, which will be kind of cool. So yeah, that's what these circles are for. Um, they are scattered all around Wales. We've got quite a few of them, probably in the hundreds. Um, but yeah, this is basically then where the Eisteddfod would come and um, the archbishop or the arch leader of the bards or the druids would stand on this centre stone, which is also called a Logan stone. And then they would read out, you know, whatever poetry or perform whatever music, etc. or whatever type of ritual they were doing during those times. So really cool about this particular um, Gortzad circle is that um, back in the 1940s um, Queen Elizabeth II, before she was Queen, I think she was Princess Elizabeth, she actually came here with the Eisteddfod and the Bards and the Druids etc and she was inaugurated in to the Bardic and the Druid orders basically um, in Wales, so how cool is that? So, if you think about it, back in 1940, around about the 1940s, I think it was 1945, 1940, somewhere over there, this whole site here just would have been filled with all the Druids and the Bards, and uh, Queen Elizabeth would have been here, Queen Elizabeth II, and yeah, all the people would have been out, and it would have been a mass event. I think you can find videos to this online as well. I'll put some links in the description, I'll find them for you. And obviously you can watch those very old videos, and they're in black and white as well. It's quite a nice bit of history here for Aber Penner, Mountain Ash, basically. So yeah. It's also really cool as well about these particular Gorsad stones. Um, they're always formed in a circle, and usually they have around 12 stones. Um, to signify the counties around the surrounding areas of Wales. Um, not Wales, but the, the surrounding areas, whatever village they may be in. But this particular stone circle has 34 surrounding stones. So there's quite a bit. And obviously it's got the Logan stone in the middle, which will be the platform where you can stand on and do your poetry. And in the spirit of Lord Resap Griffith and the traditional medieval bards, I have actually brought some poetry with me today, so I'm going to stand on the stone and read you all a little bit of poetry. <laughs> so let's have some fun. Okay, come on, look good for the shot. Look good for the shot. Are we in? Let's get my mic out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to read a poem now by a famous poet called Tal Yesin, who was a bit of a figurehead in Welsh poetry. Um, so here goes. This is Poet's Corner by Tal Yesin. A time of sifting and of pondering for British poets with pointless verses. My own great strength, my own great standing, give dismay to the chorus of poets. I may rod for the back of the poet's efforts, the poet's corner where the amateurs sit, 15,000 of them struggling to get it straight. I'm a seasoned singer of splendid songs, sharp and hard, a shaman, a sage, a skilled artisan. A serpent, a seduction, greedy for nourishment. I'm not struck dumb, I'm not going to stammer. When singers sing what they've learned by heart, no miracle they work will leave me beaten. Contending with me, their fate will be like dressing yourself when you have no hands, like diving in lakes when you know you can't swim. The thunder in flood flows on without fear, in high tumult, a terror for homesteads. But above the wave, by God's plan, stands a rock. The enemy's refuge is dark and fearful, but that rock is the High King, the judge of all. The Lord who will make us 
drunk with the light. I'm a cell. I'm a splinter. I'm a shapeshifter. A library of song. A sanctuary for the reader. I love wooded slopes. I love warm shelters. I love real poets who don't buy reputations. I don't love those who live by argument and mockers of poetry will merit no wealth. But now it's time to take up arms along with those skilled in the arts of verse against the cack-handed fiddling of my foes. O oh, shepherd of all pastures, be my refuge and help. That sounds like marching without feet to war, like planning to travel without any feet, like gathering nuts where there aren't any trees, like hunting for boars in upland heathers, like ordering a raid without uttering a sound, like an army of soldiers with no one in command, like feeding the needy with scrapings of skin, like a badger rootling in the ruins of houses, like catching the air with a farmyard hook, like thistles that can't be bothered to draw blood, like a light that you show to a man who's blind, like a naked man giving clothes away, like pouring out foam along the seashore, like feeding fish on a diet of milk, like covering a hole with a roof of leaves, like using twigs to trim your cudgel, like dissolving David with a single word. I'm the bard of the hall, I'm the lad in the chair, I make poets stutter when they speak. And before I'm laid in a comfortless grave, may we all find room in your house, Mary's son. So, that was my performance. Thank you everyone who's here today. Obviously there's no one here apart from me, but uh, hope you enjoyed. <clears throat> Okay, so um, I think I'm going to head off now. Uh, I've got a few other things to do today, but um, it's been really nice coming here today and just kind of soaking up the sunshine, the woodland, the birds, um, and just kind of soaking up the history of this Gorsed Circle, you know, and just putting myself, you know, and experiencing what people have experienced before me here, you know, back in the early 1900s. Um, it's been a pleasure, so um, I hope you've enjoyed and um, I'll see you next time at another location. So take care, Hoi Vaur and Jochen Vaur. <laughs>